everybody, Ann here. Just woke up. This is how the girl tells me it's time to start our day. <laughs> Gotta go make some coffee, feed the chickens. Let's see what else I can get into today. I'm tired. Good morning, baby chickens. I got one little chicken's butt coming out. No, that's not the butt. Good morning. I gotta put some feet in there. I just put some fresh water in there. Yep. They all did good overnight. This is warm, but it's not too hot. They look like they did just fine. I'm gonna leave this on for a little while because it's a little cool this morning. Come on out, baby chicks. Let's have some breakfast. There's two. <gasps> Don't peck on that one. Is that pasty butt? I can't tell. Pasty butt is kind of precocious. <laughs> All right, chickens, I'm going to get you some breakfast. I've got some scrambled eggs. Let's see how they like them. Think I'll go for them? Ooh, somebody. Hope this one doesn't poop on it. They all look pretty energetic today. Are they going to go for the eggs? I could just watch them all. I put just a little bit of feed in, and they have emptied, emptied the feed out already. Oh, my goodness. Well, it looks like they're interested in it. Just one scrambled egg. Oh, goodness. I've got this one. This one right here's got a little bit of color on its back coming in. They did really, really well last night in their little house. And it didn't get too hot. I was so worried. I kept waking up and getting up and getting down and checking it and making sure it wasn't too hot. But it wasn't, and my solar barely went down at all. All night last night, I had that heater on, and it just hardly used any energy. So, what does Judy think of all this? Uh, 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 uh. Judy, no, no. Look at the little chickens. The baby chickens are just sitting there looking at her, and she's looking back at them. I just don't want her. Ah, ah, ah. Be nice. You can smell. You can smell them. But don't act like you're going to want to eat them. i got to vacuum. Uh-uh-uh-uh-uh-uh, Judy. I normally keep this area blocked off, but uh, I'm going to let her see them as much as possible. I just don't want her acting aggressively. Uh-uh-uh. No, Judy. She can smell them. Oh! <laughs> One of them kind of pecked it in her direction. She's kind of afraid of them. That's so cute. Look at you guys. I think Judy and them are going to get along just fine. I just have to oh, <laughs> slowly introduce her to them. Uh-uh, they're not for eating purposes. <laughs> uh, you're so funny, Judy. That's a good girl. I don't keep that harness on her all day. She just came in from being outside. She'll probably want to go back outside in a little bit. I'm talking quiet because I don't want to disturb Judy. I just want her to get used to just watching them and maybe maybe taking them on as her own baby chicks without wanting to eat them. That's a good girl. Yeah, I think I need some more light in there. I'll figure that out in a little bit here. Well, today's project was I, I made this, and I'll explain to you later how I made it. But so far, I opened the door. One chick is coming out. And I wanted to give them some more room because uh, I read that part of the reason chicks get pasty buck is overcrowding. Oh, didn't want to go back. Didn't want to go out. I'm just going to let them do their own thing, and if they want to go into this other part, then that's great. Now, um, all I did was, because the bottom of this is open, and then inside here 
is open. Oh, two little baby chicks are starting to come through. Are they going to come down? I hope so. I'm just going to let them do their thing. Um, so what I did is I didn't have any right size boxes. So Mr. Lucas actually had a pretty large one. It still wasn't long enough. So I just cut the, cut it up and fashioned a little tray, so to speak, to completely go underneath this whole thing. And um, then you're probably thinking, oh, the cardboard is going to get wet underneath. You're going to have to change the whole box. No, I just put more cardboard, another layer of cardboard down on top of that. So uh, when I go to feed, oh, look, they're all coming, they're all coming down. So when I go to uh, clean it, I will just take that layer of cardboard um, up if it's wet and put another one down. And I did get a bigger uh, ice tray since I'm not using them. I cannot believe I'm using them for this. And I put their big water bowl here because they got more room. And so we'll just see how this goes. I think at nighttime I will probably close that little door and just keep them in here because it's got that little heated area there and um, so that they will just remember to go in there, at least for now. Oh, look, they're all coming. Look, you guys, they're all coming. I'm sweating. It is so hot in this cabin. Mm. Look at... Yep, Pasty Butt is pasty again, so I'm going to have to clean her up again. Look at, they're drinking. They're drinking. Oh, this is so awesome. They made it through their first night. Whoop! Flied it a little bit. It flew. Did you see that? God, I feel like a, a kid. I feel like a six-year-old. Yep. They're all in there drinking. Eventually, they're going to find the food. All right, well, let's just keep an eye on them today. Looks like somebody found the food. I wonder if they'll all come over now. Nope. Well, I'm sure they can find it, right? I need to quit worrying so much. They found their water, they'll find their food. Just look at them and look at Pasty Bud's butt. I'm gonna warm up some water here and uh, take care of her little bum. But they've been all over this. I'm so glad that I put this part on because, well, I just didn't want them to be overcrowded. And, you know, as they get bigger, they will go outside and they'll have that bigger chicken run in addition to all of this. But they seem really happy. I keep worrying whether or not they're warm enough, but then I keep remembering how warm it is in this cabin. Um, and I figured, <laughs> look at they just kick stuff all over the place. The good thing is, is this little border here helps uh, keep it from coming out, you know, onto the floor. I still haven't vacuumed, but I will. But they seem just real happy, and um, they look like they're trying to venture up that ramp a little bit. So, <laughs> Looky, are you going to go back into the little box? Yep. So hopefully this will give them a little bit more room for a little while. I know that they're going to need much, much more room. But I think for now this is going to be okay because they've got all the room in that box there. They've got all the room down here. And eventually, see, look at I blocked that bottom part off right there um, because I didn't have anything right now to put underneath this part. So uh, eventually I'll do another cardboard box like this and just make it all one big tray and then they can get underneath it there too. Um, I, they should be able to fit at least for a couple, two, th two, three more weeks. I think these chickens are about a week old and they are just, ooh, yesterday I was so worried. I think that they were too hot yesterday. Um, and Trudge Supply Company just keeps them really, really hot in there. Uh, and then they got home and they were probably stressed. Look at, look at they're doing to their water. <laughs> uh, but they found the food. And I kind of sprinkled some food here and there and whatnot. So, oh, these are just so adorable. I can't wait to see what color they are. Okay, I need to go take care of Pasty Butt. Miss Pasty Butt. Her butt is unpasted. I'll spare you the details for now. I guess I'm just going to have to keep checking her.
because this morning she was completely covered in crust again. She didn't like it when I first grabbed her. <laughs> but the water was warm and I actually stuck her little bottom down into it for a couple seconds. And now I'm just drying her off. And she's she seems a little bit more comfortable. You're a good girl. Very good girl. I just love these critters. <laughs> They're so sweet. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.